Okay. Uh, keep it in mind, I want to buy the chop that has, uh, it's going to be the most economical. I have the least waste from a fat standpoint. Uh, I got to consider bone. I got to consider the amount of meat and also the quality. Okay. Which one is the best? Three. One. Three. One. Two. Three. Three. Well, we've got one, two, and three. How many do think three? Four. Yeah, I think three also. All right. As you look at three, it has the least fat. Now, this area right here is called tail. It's the tail of the chop. This does not have a tail, so therefore, I don't have anything to throw away, do I? Nope. So, all I'm buying here, weight-wise, is all meat. Now, I do have a fairly large lumbar vertebrae right here, but I don't have much of a uh, vertebrae right here, as far as this transverse process is concerned. So, it's a kind of a trade-off. But I gotta start here. And then things get a little dicey, don't they? Uh, okay, some people went with two. Some people went with one. I don't hear anybody going with four, so did you put four on the bottom? Yeah. So did I. So did I. Now, it's got a lot of waste here, and notice the fat right along here. The tenderloin is a little smaller than these others, and we've got a fairly good sized transverse process right there, don't we? So put it bottom, and that leaves me with a really close middle pair. And I actually went one over two in a close pair. Now, when I say that, all right, take a look. Which one has the most muscle? This one or this one? That one. That one. Which one has the largest tenderloin? This one does, doesn't it? Just a little bit more meat. This might have to have a little less waste right here. They're really close along here as you look at them. Uh, Bone-wise, this has got a transverse process. This has got a little bit more lumbar. A lot of give and take there. And so if I was going to give you the official placing, I'd say three, one, two, four. And then somebody said, well, what are the cuts on those pairs? I would probably cut this four points on the top, two in the middle, and probably four or five on the bottom. And, you say, and, and so if I switch the middle pair, I got a 48 out of 50. If I switch the top pair, I get a 46. If I switch the bottom pair, I get a 46. So to me, the closest placing is the middle. And therefore, you're penalized the least if you switch them. Okay. All right. Any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, the tails, do they, are they pretty much bad because they had extra weight and no consumption? Or? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Waste that you're going to throw away. We missed 12 points. And you're paying for that. You know, these things might have cost you to go to the store. We've been really fortunate. Most of you are the same thing. If you go to a, a, a Myers or, or most of our retail stores, we've been able to buy boneless pork loins for less than $2 a pound for really three or four years. <coughs> And it's a fantastic thing that we, we buy them, and then I take them home and cut them an inch and a quarter thick and package them and put them in the freezer, and it's cheaper than ground beef. And, and so, you know, you can get pork cheap, but now if you go buy these in a package, fabricated, they're going to run you probably two and a half to three dollars a pound. And you're paying for both. And you might be paying for tail, see? So that's why you have to pay attention when you're selecting them so that you don't waste your money. And that's why this is, I think, a pretty valuable exercise.